Um, this is after I filmed the review. I am running a giveaway for a Darby Allen chase over on my Instagram right now. So definitely go look at that right now and follow all the instructions on the last post that I made. And let's go with the review. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about the ringside exclusive negative one and Brody Lee two pack. So let's get right on into it. All right. So first off, I'm not going to take this Brody out of the robe because we've already seen this exact figure without the robe so we will just look at the robe it's a nice off-white color i wish it was done in cloth because i think it could have really helped with this belt going around right here but still looks good nonetheless the detail on the back where it says the exalted one Brody lee and it has his uh, the eye with the skull and his long beard i think all that looks very very good on this figure but we will stick stick him to the side because that is not entirely what we're here for. We'll put the other Brody figure in the back over here. Because, I mean, I've already done a review of this. So you guys know what to expect. It's literally the exact same figure designed everything. This is the Dark Order hand from Evil Uno. Because I like him standing in that pose a little bit better. But I'm going to stick him back over here behind John Silver. Let's get into Brody's accessories real quick before we take a look at the main event. He comes with two Dark Order hands, or a lot of people are saying, like, his yeah, yeah, yeah hands. Where he would, like, let's see if I can demonstrate this real quick. He would, like, stick them out to the side. He did it in WWE. He did it in AEW. Let's see if I can replicate it. Something like that. He would do that. So these hands match that entirely. And let me go ahead and just put Brody how I display him back on my shelf. I like the, I could put the papers to a side, but I kind of like the hand behind the back for all of them. And then you throw up that good old join the dark order pose. And can't complain about that whatsoever. Love that, love it so much. But here is negative one. Oh, also, just re just remembered, Brody comes with another version of the TNT Championship. Everybody's going crazy for this version of it, so I think it's worth the pick up just for this alone, but you definitely want the figures to go with it. Here's Brody with his accessories, and then we have negative one. This figure is insane in the hand. First of all, it's a child. I, I can't even remember the last time we got a, like an actual child action figure. It sounds weird to say like that. Just bear with me. But you know exactly what I mean. He comes with the standard Jazzware style hand right there as you see. He comes with a matching hand for his right hand. But he also comes with the smallest Dark Order hand that you could imagine. Let's take a look at the details on here, though. You got the negative one painted on the chest, just like he does in person. The mask details, if I can get that to focus, are insane with the different scratch marks and everything. His hair sticking out the back. It's just absolutely crazy. The pants, uh, obviously a brand new, unique mold and it, like it's got the rivets on the pants it's got the belt i love the negative one knee pads they still allow plenty of movement the smallest boots i've ever seen on a wrestling figure <laughs> and it's just it's so perfectly well done and it's not something you knew you needed but once it's out like he fits right in. That's the that's the Dark Order right there. The whole well, besides Cole Cabana, Alex Reynolds, Allen Five Angels, and Preston Vance. Speaking of that, we need to get them like now. How cool would it be to have an entire Dark Order team like standing together on the shelf? I just think that like that's awesome. It looks good. Even if you're not a fan of the Dark Order, you have ten guys in the same group. 
they're gonna look phenomenal standing together in matching attire. Even on my shelf, I've added Ty Conti, Eric Redbeard, and Hangman Adam Page because it just, it matches the whole aesthetic. They're, they were part of the team at some point. You guys have already seen the height comparisons between the Dark Order. It's, you know, you can see it here too, but I'm going to show a couple quick comparisons for the man, Negative One himself. And it seems wrong to do this, but it's the only real comparisons you can make. We have him up next to Hornswoggle. <laughs> and uh, we, hey, we got uh, we got Child Dominant coming up soon in the SummerSlam wave. So I'm going to be posting pictures of them for sure. And then we have El Torito from Los Matadores. Oh, crap. Oh, everything's falling apart. I thought Stu Grayson was about to take a tumble. Also, quick note while I'm setting everything back up. That Stu Grayson figure is criminally underrated. Everybody talks about Evil Uno's detail, Anna J, John Silver being so different, Brody Lee. Stu Grayson gets slept on. He's, he has one of my favorite like figures from Jazzwear so far. But there is the whole entire group shot. Like I said, I, we don't need to speak too much of this Brody. You guys know what you're expecting. It's just, you know, a, a new robe. But that's going to be it for today. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And last but not least, take it easy. Thanks. Thanks.